Hi, so good to see you. How are you? Good. Are you sure it's okay for me to just show up? Absolutely. I told you you can come by anytime you want. Thanks. How's Spencer? I was wondering if maybe we could go for a ride. Yeah, yeah, of course. He can show you what he can do with Nip It. Spencer's very proud of himself. I love that pony. I love everything a lot more than I used to. Like, Good. this morning I sat out on the deck with my orange juice and my biggest problem was what to have for breakfast. <laughs> and then I started thinking about Michael and what he was doing and having for breakfast. That's so unfair for him to be locked up in that awful place. I know. Well, I'm sorry I, I can't help you with, with Michael right now, but I have made some progress with the Bowers. Warren hasn't dropped the wrongful death suit yet, but I imagine he will soon. Why? I made him uh, aware of various options. We'll just leave it at that. That sounds like a threat. I told you, Christine, I won't allow anyone to drag you through that Kiefer nightmare anymore. Kiefer was a nightmare mostly, but I miss him sometimes. That probably sounds ridiculous. No, no. I, I think we all feel things we shouldn't sometimes. Just ask me and Elizabeth. How's she doing? She works too much, and I'm worried about her. I invited her and the boys to come live here at least until the baby's born, but she won't even consider it. I'm not arguing with you. It's just that I've seen Sonny operate for a long time, and... He knows you're vulnerable because Michael ended up in Pentonville, and that makes you look bad. It makes everyone look bad. Sonny's offering you a shot at redemption. You'll, you'll supposedly be helping Michael and conveniently neutralize his competition. Well, I want to stop a mob war before it starts. Yeah, well, that's what we all want. But how? I mean, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? Okay, assuming that you can't get both of them, who would you rather bust, Sonny or Johnny? Who says we can't get both? Sonny has to be well aware that I'd be able to double-cross him. Yeah, and then he, he said he had no choice but to trust you and looked you straight in the eye, right? He is very compelling, yes. If I were a juror, I might be swayed. But I know his act. I'm not impressed by him. I've only known two women who can hold their own against Sonny, okay? One is my cousin Carly. And it cost her four, count them, four marriages to the guy, along with years of pain and at, and at least one major nervous breakdown. And the only other woman who seems completely immune to Sonny is Diane Miller. Diane Miller, whom I have a lot of respect for, and she has to know deep down, the way I do, what a dangerous criminal he is. Look, the thing that you have to understand about Sonny is that he's not 100% bad. I... He can be generous and kind. He, he does a lot of great things in this community with no fanfare at all. He, he genuinely loves his children, and he tries his best to be a good father. And he really did have a childhood that would break anyone's heart. That's how he draws women in. They think they can save him. I don't want to save Sonny Corinthos. I want to put him away 20 to life. All right, well, just, just know that you'll be waiting through emotional quicksand. And it's, it's taken down many women before you. You know, perhaps none of these women saw what I saw during the trial. A brutal killer who got his son mixed up in a cover-up. Someone who believed that he could game the system, who had no intention of going to jail. I mean, I really believe that he thinks that a jet would have been waiting for him to fly off to South America even if he was found guilty. Not to mention the impossible position he put Michael in. Or Dante, who he shot point-blank in the chest. Sonny is a brutal, narcissistic thug who needs to be shut down. He really does. And if he really believes that he's playing me, let him. It's going to make my job a lot easier. Sonny. Oh, listen to me. Olivia, listen to me. Just leave. It doesn't concern you. It doesn't concern me? No. What the hell are you thinking pulling something like this with Michael and Pentonville? Do you think this is going to help him? Honey, what about Dante? He's just going to turn his head while you, while you rough someone up on a public sidewalk in the Olivia, middle of the day? This is my mess. I'll clean it up. Yeah, you know what? This is what's going to happen. Johnny and I are 
We're gonna walk away from this, and you're all gonna let us. Is everyone really clear on that? Go ahead, Johnny boy. Let your girlfriend save your ass. Come on, it's okay. It's okay. Look, you know, you know that I respect you. I'm in here to protect you, but I can't do that if I don't know what's going I on. I told you it was a nothing fight. It's over. Okay. Besides, you're teaching me how to fight, right? I need to defend myself, and I'm learning. Yeah, no, you're, you're doing, you're doing fine. Oh, that was good. So Michael was in hiding. I brought him back, and it was one of the worst mistakes of my life. Well, you, he, he thought that he was helping Michael and keeping him out of the mob. So Lulu accidentally saw him here, and then I convinced her to hide him at her place. And Carly was furious because I didn't tell her that he was in town. Wait, so Carly didn't want Michael to confess? Oh, Carly's been in on the cover-up from the beginning. <laughs> tell you how, I turned Michael in and uh, thought the judge was going to give him community service and counseling because he didn't mean to kill Claudia. Well, it's, it's a long story, but Michael saved his mother and his baby sister. I thought Michael was going to get a chance to turn his life around, but instead the judge decided to make an example of him and give him five years in prison. Okay. What does? Um, why you didn't want to ask Carly about my singing, you know? I mean, it's not your fault. I just shouldn't have asked you, so. Well, she's, she's not as angry as she was at no, first, I mean, right? Yeah, she's, she's getting nicer. Just... I mean, if you suggest Brooke to her, I mean, and she does well at the Metro Court, it'd be like you're helping Carly out. Dante, <laughs> stop harassing your girlfriend, okay? I don't even know how long I'm going to be in town for. I, all I'm saying is it just doesn't hurt to ask. Hey, I'm serious. Stop it, Lulu. Don't listen no, to No, it's, it's not... fine. It's, I'll talk to Carly. 